Hi, this is Brad with ThumbTracker.com, and today we're going to talk about my personal favorite, the Daily app. So first, let's navigate there by going to Apps, Daily. So it says the Daily app is used to analyze umpire performance on a specified day slash game. Okay, so we have these input boxes up here. Date, so this is by default set to the day before the, um, the current date. So today is, is September 12th, and so the date is set at September 11th. You can choose any date in the 2016 um, year. So this contains all games from the 2016 season. You can select a date if you so choose. Um, and then we have games from that date. So we have all of the games from September 11th here. So we can choose any games, let's say Rays versus Yankees. And what will happen is we will have updated pitches right here. And so what this shows is all of the pitches in which the umpire had to make a call on for this game. So Rays versus Yankees on September 11th. These are the calls Chad Whitson made. Okay, and then you can also select batting team, batter, pitcher, if you really want to isolate and you're looking for something in particular. But let's talk about these calls. What's kind of nice about this is that you can easily see which calls are missed by the umpire in the game because they're outlined in white. These are the missed calls. And so you can click on these and kind of observe the situation in which that missed call was made, um, whatever you so desire. But it, it's just, it's nice to see because you have outline pitches in white that are missed calls and outline pitches in black that are called correctly. And so as you can see right here, this umpire has nine missed calls total. And so before I get, a hold of, get ahead of myself, I'm referencing this over here. Let's talk about this a little bit more. Um, at the top, you have something pretty self-explanatory. It's just a, it's an umpire rating. It's a performance rating for this game. And so he's rated at nine out of 10 stars for this performance. Um, and then you move down, you have daily rankings, uh, which start with missed call percentages. And so you have total strikes and balls. And so these are just as they're stating, total would be, um, the, the number of missed calls over the total number of calls the umpire had to make in the game that satisfied our requirements. And that would be 115 total calls, and he missed 9, or 7.83%. Strikes, this would just be the pitches that are uh, missed that were called strikes. So these 9 divided by the total number of called strikes the umpire made, 48. So 18.75%. And then balls would just be missed red calls over all the red calls, 0 over 67. And then in yellow, you have his ranking out of 15. There were 15 games in the day, so this is a daily rank. And then favorable calls, pretty self-explanatory. There were nine missed calls total, five plus four, five in favor of the Rays, four in favor of the Yankees. And so as you can see, this guy all of his nine missed calls were strikes. So he had a pretty large zone. Um, one thing I will point out just by looking at this, they were very close. So when he missed it, it was not by much, but he definitely had a bigger zone than he did a, a tight zone. So, um, but anyways, this 2016 team total, what this is is, so for example, the Rays were plus one in this game, the Yankees minus one. And if you were to sum up that daily separation for each team, you would get plus, nine, plus 19 favors for the Rays, minus 29 favors for the Yankees. And then here's their rank. They're both landing pretty close to the middle, nothing unusual here. Um, if you move down to these tabs, you can see basically a breakdown of what goes into this nine out of 10 star performance uh, ranking or rating. And so total percent missed calls, this definitely carries the highest weight in our system. Um, and as you can see, he lands somewhere in between the, the 30th and 40th percentile. Um, these are historical percentiles for total percent missed call by game. And he's landing somewhere in between the 30th and 40th percentile. And then you have strike percent missed call, ball percent missed call, separation and favorable calls. He's again in between the 30th and 40th percentile separation and expected runs given, this takes into account not only the difference in missed calls, but the weight of those missed calls. So obviously some situations carry a much higher weight whenever, say, for example, say you have bases loaded, two outs, and a 3-2 count. If that call is missed in any direction, um, 
one team is going to be favored far more than another. So that needs to have more weight given to it than, say, um, nobody on, nobody out kind of situation. As you can see, he's in between the 10th and 20th percentile, which is pretty good. And then distance, um, as I was mentioning before, although he missed nine calls, which is decently high, 7.83%, they were they were very close. These missed calls were were not horrible. So he was in between in between the tenth and twentieth percentile there. And so seeing all of this, this is what goes into um, defining the umpire's overall performance. And in this case, nine out of ten star rating. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.